guys, of the GC Nation, I will explain some of the important stuff about Zelux. So, if you're in need for money, this is a good way to get money because, um, uh, you gotta, there's a small chance that you will get a special Zelux, which is a Zelux that is, you get from killing a bunch. So hopefully you get one soon, but you get a small chance of spawning a special Zelux, which the chances are 1 in 420. But if you go over 420 kills, the game will actually consider you like the unluckiest person in the world and make it go up like to 1 in 250, I think, something like that. I'll check it later. If I get it wrong, I'll put it in the comment section. But. Yeah, it's, it basically increases your chance once you kill over 420 z -lots. Now, some of you guys go for around 600, 600k on the uh, bazaar. Sometimes it goes down, sometimes it goes up. Depends on a lot of stuff. Ooh, just got combat 21. Okay, that's neat. Um, yeah, so I have 4 from Most of this from all z -lots, not just from booster cookies and all that. Just grinding zealots alone for like two days. I've heard people get like 20 mil in a day once for just grinding zealots. But this is also, it's a really good money for you because it's gonna get you also a lot of XP. So if you have a god pot on you, kill one, it'll give you 4 or 5 combat XP per kill. And also, you can farm these also if they're in your way, which will give 56. Now we go to the, like, the, how to, like, one-shot them. Some people can, like, only two-shot them. Like, for example, if you have an AOTE, oops, I'm just gonna use this as an example. Right, let's just wait till Zealot spawns. Boom. If you, if you don't one-tap them, it's fine because your chances will go up by 10%. Now, they're gonna be like, oh, Tyler can do. This is like such a good strategy. I I wanna get a sword, like the Raider's Axe and like Ender Armor, and only do like 10,000 damage. This is such a good, it's gonna be meta. Well, no, it's not gonna be meta. 10% is only 10%. Like, it's basically the same chance. Plus, it's not as effective because you're going pretty, pretty slow, and these days people are just swinging like crazy. It's like, for example, Maybe a guy could come with a flyer of truth or frozen sight and instantly kill it when if once you get your first hit. So you won't be able to. So I don't recommend you go for the two shot setup. I recommend you go for the one shot setup. The simplest you could do is a Raider's Axe and a stable dragon armor set. The Raider's Axe has to be maxed out. It gets kills and the logs has to be spot uh, reforged to sharp is the best reforged now. Um, but you can put it to spicy. It doesn't really matter if you have a lot of crit chance. Put it to spicy. If you don't, put it to sharp. It only loses like five percent, five percent crit damage on sharp. And as the arm, so you have to reforge it to full fierce. And if you don't want to die, put uh, growth five, prop five. So third crystal fragment I ever got. Oh my god, what? My luck. Okay. Um Okay, a lot of catalysts, um, but and you'll be able to guarantee one shot zealots and start grinding. But if you want a mid game kind of setup, I'm using a mid game setup right now for Z Lots, even though I have like a flower of truth. Just I don't know for dungeons. And I have adaptive. About to get uh, shadow assassin, and maybe dagger, but this is also a good one. You, with, with, if you didn't know, young armor gives so much speed. It's like 500 speed. It increases the uh, speed cap. So this is how fast I'm going with, for example, Ender armor. Here, boom, boom. But with young armor, going. All around the map. This is also really useful so you can steal people's kills while farming. Uh, 
Another thing is, if you, um, if someone decides, okay, so before back then, the first, when Zealots first came out, you were able to, once you spawn a special Zealot, you were able to steal it from someone. So people would just be camp, just camping on the, the spires here, back and forth to here, here, and everywhere. But, no, that's not going to work anymore. You have three, once you kill, once you, if you get there early, what, one thing, good thing is that they're reduced down to 2,000 health. They're reduced to 2,000 health. So it'll, for, it'll be easier for, um, for newer players to kill instead of killing a full 13,000 health Z-Lot. And maybe not critting and just, but even if they have 13,000 health, it wouldn't matter because... If another person kills it before you, you have th like five seconds to pick it up. If you don't pick it up in five seconds, the, the person that killed the eye will have it to themselves. But um, I guarantee you, you will always kill it first because it's 2,000 health. Also be careful for people. If you see some, if you just don't kill any, um, if you see a portal frame, Zealot, just don't kill if it's not yours. For some reason, I don't know if it's true, but like, whenever I kill, try to steal someone's summoning eye, I, it, it, it feels like I, it resets my counter, my Zealot counter, and it makes it so I, can, I have to restart, because it said in the chat, oh, you're a drop summoning eye, so I guess the game detects that you got a summoning eye, so it's going to reset the counter. So I don't know if that's true or not, but if it is, then just don't steal people's kills then. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get a special Z lot in the past maybe 30 minutes, but hopefully this lock will come to me and give me one. Maybe reverse psychology will work. I don't want one. I really, really, really don't want one. We're not real. I want one. I want one. Special Z lot. I can be like just boom. Special Z lot. Damn. Yeah, I would thought that would work. But, yeah, that's all the simple things you need to know about Zealots. They have 13,000 health, so make sure you have enough damage to one-shot them like that. This guy's, you can also have this setup. Strong and AOTE, that's also a really good setup for damage. Not that much speed, but okay. But I guess that's the end of the video, so goodbye.